darling The end is near, my friend The end is near, my darling So you better take my hand And then sing this song together oh. Sung about oh. the end The end is near The end is near, my friends Oh, yeah Hello guys, welcome. Yes, it's Constructor. Now Constructor, now that is a long, long time ago. That was right back in the 90s. Yes, it's back now. It is coming back at the end of this month. It is going to be the Constructor HD. It's basically just been more improved. So yes, this was one of the games that I absolutely adored and I loved. So yes, it's back. This, as you can see, is the demo version. Um, that's available on Steam for anyone that wants to go and have a quick go at it and pretend or remember what it was like years ago. Um, I love this game. Um, I had it uh, quite, quite quite a long time ago. Um, cause I think it came out in 97. Or it might have been even before that actually come to think it. 93, 94? I think it was around them times it come out. Um, and... It was beautiful. When I found out that they were going to remake it, I was hoping that it was going to be really good. And it seems to have. Um, obviously, if no one knows what this game's about, I'm, I'm surprised if you don't. But if you don't, um, this is basically your, your land, um, landlord, if you like. Um, and it's a property game. So, obviously, you are you get different tenants in. Some tenants are a pain in the arse. Some are, have got issues. And you've got to upgrade. And you sort of build your um, housing empire as it goes up and gets bigger. So, we're going to gonna have a go on this. See what, what it's all about. Obviously, we can't do that there. You've got the preview. You've got the tutorial. With respect, I don't need the tutorial. But I don't have a lot of... Go preview. Happy hippie guide gangster. Let's look at this one. Episode two. Introducing the gangster. You talking to me? Of course, the gangster works for the mob and is a decisive member of our undesirable family. Here's what you'll need to do to get him involved in your criminal underworld. <laughs> We're going to need to build up to the brickyard. This involves us building each of the Tier 1 and Tier 2 properties. Remember, the personal computer from the Gadget Factory will allow us to produce smarter tenants. Install it, and you'll be able to sprout out those higher level tenants in no time. Each tier of tenant offers a specialist child that they can produce. Tier 1 will produce you workers, Tier 2, police cadets, and Tier 3, well, they'll begin bribing the mob for you. Just what we all need. With each bribe, you give a gangster an allowance of one hit. Once you've built the brickyard, the Mob HQ will now be available to you. Build it to unlock gangsters. Each gangster starts off with just a knife in their hand. With each kill, you'll gain the appropriate upgrade for that gangster. You can use the undesirable thief to steal from your opponent's mob HQ and gangsters to speed up this process even further. Successfully doing so will upgrade your lowest ranking gangster. Think wisely on who to take out. Attacking your opposition's foreman will stop them from building. Taking out a repairman will leave their buildings in disrepair. Removing their tenants will leave them with a population headache or use them to guard your important structures and take out unwilling rivals undesirables who are nearby. Each will add up, making your gangsters ever stronger. Get the appropriate amount of kills with your gangster and you'll have an inventory to boot from SMGs, shotguns, miniguns and even the ultimate laser gun. Before you know it, you have a team of highly trained gangsters who can truly eradicate your opponents. Just watch out for the police in the process. These gangsters don't fare well in the nick. You've got to admit, and so have I, that looks absolutely brilliant, doesn't it? <laughs> that was just the gangster one. 
Um, I will show you. Um, let's Mr. Fix It guide. So I'll show you this now. Episode three of eight. Introducing Mr. Fix It. To gain control of Mr. Fix It, you'll need to build his ecty looking builder's warehouse. Mr. Fix It offers you three unhelpful actions. He's quite the cowboy builder. Rewiring an enemy property. Mr. Fixit can rewire a house for the bonus effect of utter electrical chaos. Sparks fly and the house will be plunged into darkness, disabling any useful gadgets inside. How about a more explosive action? Rip out the gas boiler and create a serious hazardous leak. It's only inevitable that this doesn't end well. or cause a serious flood that could knock out an entire estate. There appears to be an artificial lake appearing on your estate. Try not leaving your bath running so long next time. He's not the quickest of our undesirable bunch, so the police will be hot on his tail if you're not careful. Well, there he is. That's Mr. Fix It. Um, as you can hear there, I obviously if you're from the UK, you'll find that it was um, the one that only falls and is in. Uh, um, oh, completely forgot his name, Boise. Um, so yeah, he's he's on obviously doing one of the voices here. So let's go to the Thief Guide. Introducing the Thief. What my son? The pesky thief lives his scrawny life in his pawn shop. Build this and you'll have access to it. He steals for a living. Need more resources and want to slow your opponent down in the process? Target an enemy resource and leave that place empty. How about stealing from your opponent's houses in order to improve stock of gadgets in your own inventory? It'll also stress out the tenant as they've just been burgled. Someone has been stealing items from properties on the estate. Need money fast and don't want to go to the bank for a loan? Well, we'll just rock up and take it straight from an enemy HQ. This will take months of hard-earned rent straight from their pocket. If you're in the market for some better weaponry, why not silence an enemy gangster, pinching his weapon from right under his nose? Alternatively, head straight for the enemy mob HQ and improve one of your own gangster's provisions. A sneaky thief has been operating in the area and has stolen one of your gangster's weapons. One warning, this thief isn't a fan of a snarling dog, so you won't be stealing much if he's going to get bitten. <laughs> So that was the thief. Now let's have a look at the thug. Introducing the thugs. The bruising thugs live out of their concrete tenant block. They'll create some serious noise. The thug's number one goal is to terrorize. You can have them terrorize a tenant, stressing them out so much that they'll pack their bags and leave. This allows you to potentially replace those living inside. Start an unwanted house party, trashing and stressing out the household. Patrol the streets from an estate and get everyone stressed out. Just watch out for the cops. And then if a rival gang rear their head in town, organize a punch up. Just hope you come out the winner. Loud and unruling are the thugs, but liable to police brutality. Introducing the Poltergeist. This haunted old mansion plays host to a spooky guest. He's damn right terrifying too. Use him to possess a character, effectively taking them out of the game. This could stop your opponent from being able to do vital actions. 
However, whilst you've done this, the haunted house will remain vacant and you won't be able to use any other actions. Or choose to haunt a house and scare off the tenants. Doing so will have them instantly flee. Might even force their owners to sell the house too. Endowing a character under the cloak of darkness effectively turns them invisible. Think of what you could get up to with an undercover gangster. Let's go. Talking to me? It's done. Or you could choose to terrify an entire neighborhood by raising the dead. Zombies will parade the streets, leaving the police and neighbors with something to worry about. You best be afraid of this ghost, as it's practically impossible to catch him. You'd best burn down his house. That one was the ghost guide, so let's go and have a look at the killer clowns. Introducing the killer clown. The clown welcomes you to his house of fun, although it's no holiday. He's less child friendly and more arsonist. Have you had a ghost visit? Send him to a house that a poltergeist is terrorizing and he'll deal with the problem. Where the ghost goes, nobody knows. Fed up of getting bitten in the bottom by an enemy mutt? Your clown will give a dog a bone, as they say, whilst you get up to no good. Need a target removed from the game permanently? Welcome them as a guest to the house of fun. In his spare time, the killer clown brews his own Molotov cocktails. Useful when you need a place torched. He's an elusive character and he'll be hard to stop. Your best luck is to just send the heavies round and get rid of the place. Controlled demolition. Your first industrial accident. Right, well that was the killer clown, so we've got the psycho at the moment, but as you can see, this game is absolutely brilliant, I can't wait for it to come out, it's going to be the end of May when it comes out, it's available on a pre-release, um, you can get it as a, um, get it now, um, and then obviously you'll get the key when it comes out at the end of the May, so let's have a look at the psycho guide. Introducing the psycho. This chainsaw-wielding psycho hangs out at the biker bar. He's a sandwich short of a picnic. Quite the character is the psycho. Not a welcoming one either. Target a work site and you'll put a stop to any sort of construction until he's dealt with. Taking out an enemy fence will speed up your takeovers tenfold. Just make sure to have a foreman nearby to capture the property afterwards then sell for a good profit. Fed up of your opposition having so many buildings? Well, simply eradicate one of them entirely, putting that chainsaw to good use. The psycho is a slow lumbering oaf, so if you gang up on him, he won't survive a fight. Well, that was the Psycho. Um, as you can see, it's very, very, very good. I can't wait for it to come out. Um, I say it's going to be ended. We're going to go into the tutorial quickly now and have a look. Um, I know how to play it. Well, I think I remember. Um, but obviously, this is only going to be a part of it. There's going to be obviously a lot more. So let's have a look where we are. All right. So this is this is my little area here. So. You think you can make it in the world of Constructor? Your predecessor was not up to the job. You think you can cope with the demands of the city council and the mob, let alone those annoying tenants? 
Yeah, I think I can. I'll get it in the neck if I don't explain some of the basics to you. Your ever important cursor is controlled using the mouse. You can push oh, scroll the no. map by moving to the sides of the screen. Or oh, I can just use the arrow key. Well, there's no flies on you, are there? You can move the camera view around using the cursor keys. Why don't you have a look around now? Yep. You can zoom right out by pressing delete or rolling the mouse scroll wheel towards you. I say, it looks so You're much done. better. You're not as dark as you look. You can zoom back in by pressing insert or rolling the mouse scroll wheel away from you. It looks so much better than what it used to look like, you know? Incredibly much better. Um, right, so we're over here, so let's scroll back in. This is your HQ, center of all things important. You'd best protect it like it was one of your own. If this burns down, it'll be curtains for you. But don't worry, we'll dig you a nice grave in the yard. Christine. Rather than standing around picking your nose, let's get going Aye. by selecting this geezer. Point your cursor at his feet and press the left mouse button. This is your foreman. You'll need him to build your property empire. He will instruct his own work team to do all the hard graft for you whilst he files the risk assessments. You can move him around by pointing where you want him to move to and pressing the right mouse button. Righto. Righto. And here they come. Your workers have finally got out of bed to do some hard graft. Send your foreman to the beacon we've just placed outside the HQ entrance by pointing and pressing the right mouse button. Right His work team will always tag along. That was a long walk, wasn't it? Every foreman can have a work group of up to five workers. If you have a full group, they'll be far more efficient. So you'd better add two more workers to this guy's team. Select the flashing work team button and make the group up to five workers. Select spare workers on the right to fill the team up to five. And then choose the flashing group right selection home. icon to bring them together. Great job. You're getting the idea with these flashing icons. Now let's exit this screen. Right, enough of all this poncing about. Time to do some building. Yes. Let's start by placing your first building site. So let's head on over to the estate agent. The lumber yard will be your first resource, which is handy for a plank like you. Get it up and running to supply wood for your future buildings. Try finding a legal position to place the site by moving the cursor footprint around. You can tell which land you own because it's glowing your team colour. Right, well, is a green position one. the cursor over where you want to build. Oh, no. If the cursor is red, then it's not a legal position. The arrows show which direction the gate will face. Would you look at that? A brand spanking new building site. To view the site, press the right left mouse button whilst hovering over the footings. Righto. Righto. Watch them build. It's a real delight. If these guys keep up their day job, they'll gain experience and become much more reliable. There it is. Congratulations. You have finished your first lumber yard. Right to restock it, move a work team into the building. The lumber yard will right be your source of wood for years to come. Press the left mouse button whilst hovering over the building foundations, or click the new icon that's appeared on the left hand side of the screen. There you go, it's making them that. To speed up wood production, you can call a second team into the building. Right we've made enough of a racket, but now we've got enough wood to start building our next property. Go to the estate agent to see your new choices. There are now more choices of buildings you can create. Click on the Homes icon to see what's new. 
You now have access to three low-grade tenant houses. We want you to build a log cabin, which will fit neatly beside your lumber yard. You can change the selected building type by using the directional buttons. Press the left mouse button to place sight. Well, that one's squeezed in nicely. Now you need to call a work team to finish the job. If your teams are busy, click on your form using the left mouse button and move into the site by pointing and clicking the right button. I know, I know. Once people are inside a building, a flag appears outside. You can click on the base of his brown flag I using know. the left button to select him. Well done. Your first home has been completed and is ready to be rented out for the first time. Building a variety of types of houses would expand your choices in the future. <coughs> Congratulations on your first tenant house. Thank you. Even if it is a bit... Naff. To choose a tenant, hover your pointer over the base of the building and press the left mouse button. Right. This place is obviously empty. To put a tenant in this house, click on the appoint tenant icon. There are five levels of tenant, from the riffraff to the toffs. I'm afraid you're scraping the bottom of the barrel at this stage. Take this dodgy looking pair. Whilst they have plenty of money, they don't breed quickly enough and they might damage your property. I think it's best we use the other couple. Oi. These slobs will do exactly what we need. They'll breed like rabbits to create extra workers and tenants. They've moved in and made themselves at home. <laughs> don't you love what they've done with the decor? Lovely. You can find out what these tenants like and don't like by clicking on their picture. These slobs are the lowest level of tenant that you can get. They're good for breeding quickly, are quite noisy and can cause problems for their neighbours. But as long as you don't annoy them, they can be fairly self-contained and don't expect too much in the way of luxuries. These areas Slops. give you information about the house and its tenants. Hover your pointer over each of the areas to find out more info. Use the cursor keys to move easily between icons. Currently, these guys are paying rent, but we need to expand our empire and breed more workers. Click on the worker icon to have them start breeding a worker instead. There you go. Your bundle of joys on its way. This display shows you how long before your worker will report for duty at your HQ. To make your tenants a bit more active in the bedroom and deliver your children quicker, I suggest you upgrade their bedroom. Click on the redecorate rooms button. There are four rooms in this gas. Each of these rooms has a different benefit, such as increasing life expectancy, relieving stress, reducing repairs, and increasing birth rate, which is what we need right now. Please select the bedroom. What a dump. There are several stages for each room that must be better than this. Select upgrade room to start redecorating. Need to call a work team inside the building to complete the upgrade. Marvelous! Your team has completed the new bedroom. Doesn't that look better? Hopefully, it'll have the desired effect. Let's go back to the main screen and see how they are getting on. You will notice that the birth rate has improved. The faster the dial goes round, the quicker the next baby will appear. Just like in real life. They do slow down as they produce more children, but the happier they are, the quicker they breed. And more rent they are willing to pay. Everyone wants a nice garden to go with their house, so let's start by improving the fence. At the moment, you only have a limited selection of fences available. This tenant particularly likes the privet hedge, of course. Please select and purchase it. You need to get those lazy workers off their tea break and out into the yard to do some more work. 
Please call them back out. Each fence has a different defensive ability, as well as being aesthetically pleasing for your tenants. That looks much better and will keep your tenant happy. Now let's leave the house and have a look around. You can quickly see what each I house have. is producing. Rent, workers or more tenants, as shown by the floating icon above the house. If something else is wrong, it will be shown there instead. There's the fuck. There's baby fuck. Now we need to teach you how to look after your estates. Let's introduce you to one of our other characters, the repairman. Please select this fine gentleman over here. I like your repairman's down. a right spanner. Calm down, calm down. Repair, he will circle around all of your buildings on his current estate, repairing them one after another for you. Tidy. Alternatively, you can manually prioritise his work by moving him inside a particular building. Once the property is in immaculate condition, he will move on to his next job. That's so much better that I didn't know that bit. That's much better than actually doing it manually. Hello, hello. What's going on here? This dude looks like he's up to no good. Need the wood. Someone has stolen some resources from your site on Katie Swallow's estate. It might not be too late to catch him and get them back. Too late! He's disappeared down your tube station and he seems to have stolen all your wood. You'll need to restock that place. Get one of your teams back inside your lumber yard. Hello? Yeah. Hello. Get in there, mate. Come on. Yeah. Righto, eh? Righto. Put him in there. <coughs> Looks like something is kicking off in here. Let's have a look inside the house. Some people are never happy. They've sent a complaint letter to the council. Click on their heads to see what's wrong. Oi! Your factory's been going day and night. We can't stand the noise no more. Close it down for a bit or give us some double glazing. Some people are... They are obviously not happy living next to a loud factory. Better keep them sweet by getting your work team out of there. Right on, Jack. That was easy to deal with. They're not always as simple as that. As you can see, you're getting the gist of the game um, if you haven't played it before. You have, it's never enough. I think you need to buy some extra land for your next building project. Please select the world map icon. Use the left mouse button to select individual estates. The larger the estate, the more expensive it will be. Please select the Brompton estate. Now we've got some more land, you can finally build your next home. Go back into your estate agent and see what's available. Now it's time to create another of the tenant homes. Once you have created at least one of each, it will unlock more variety. Please select a simple lodge this time. Right, you can now place this lodge anywhere on your new estate. You will see that you can orientate the house by moving it closer to one side than another. Or you can cycle through the directions by pressing the right mouse button. Once happy with the position, Press the left mouse button to place it. Now get those work teams on site to finish the I building know. off. That's because if you haven't played this before, um, you can see the game's going to be absolutely brilliant. I can't wait for it. Um, it's one of the games I've played for ages and ages, um, right back in the 90s. And now they've brought it back and they've brought it in HD. It's absolutely brilliant. Now, 
you need to put a tenant in this new lodge. Please use the slob tenants again, like before. Oi! Each tenant has a certain life expectancy. You have a limited number of tenants, so you must breed more, so they will be ready for when you need them later in the game. Please instruct your new tenants to breed a level one tenant. Well done. Now, to speed up the breeding process, you should improve their bedroom, like last time. Now, please improve their fence to keep them happy. A picket fence would look very nice. OK, if you are ready to move on, then we need to build the final low-grade property. A larger garden will please your tenant more and make it easier to decorate the garden with objects. You can push out the edges of the plot by holding shift and pressing the cursor keys. Once happy with the location of your Soweto hut, place it by pressing the left mouse button. Right now, now, get one of your work teams on site to finish this building off. Right on, Due to the high quality of your shacks, the council surveyor is going to let you build some proper houses after you've built the cement yard. This house now needs a tenant who will start paying us rent. We have a business to run and we need to make money. Please select the greaser tenants. Hello. It is possible to force tenants to pay more rent. Doing this will make them less happy, which may cause you problems, so be careful. Now, let's push their rent up by at least 25%. To make sure you keep track of what's going on in the world when inside a building, you can toggle the radar on or off by pressing the R key. Have a go before you exit the house. <laughs> to look after these new houses, please select your other you repairman. Move him to the Brompton Estate and set him auto repairing. Hello. I think it's time to buy another larger estate to give you room to expand your empire. Please buy the Beaverbrook estate on the world map screen. After building all the level one tenant houses, you can now build a cement factory on your new plot of land. Select the cement factory via the estate agent and build this now. Now it's time to finish the building off. Get one of your work teams on site and start building. Come yeah, on, Foreman. Bring your spirit level. Bring your lads. Let's go. I'll oh, run out of wood here, look. Right, home. You don't have enough resources to finish the building. You will need to send a work team back to the resource to restock it before work continues. It's doing it, mate. It's doing it. I've already got some in there, but...
do it. We'll do 10. Just in case it starts winding, they keep winding up. Obviously, I've got the tenants here that end up getting a bit angry because of it, so. Get that on there, right. Lighto! Lighto! They can get on with that. As you can see, when you look around it, it looks absolutely fabulous, doesn't it? Compared to, if you played it before, compared to the other one, it looks absolutely brilliant. This is obviously one of my competitors here in red. Um, obviously, they haven't built, they've just purchased this one, by the looks of it. But they haven't actually built anything. The cement works has been finished and is now up and running. Now, start some real buildings. We ought to get another one of them right repairmen circling this estate, but we don't have any spare. Here's how to knock out new ones in your HQ. If you click on the HQ icon in the top left using the right mouse button, it will scroll the map to its location. Alternatively, using the left mouse button will take you straight inside. This is your HQ screen, which allows you to monitor how many people and tenants you currently have or are in production. In here, you can also convert workers into other characters. Convert three spare workers into a repairman by clicking the icon. Now, set this new repairman to auto repair on the Beaverbrook estate. Hello. 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 So we go over there. We now need a gadget factory Ooh, to start eh? manufacturing right products to keep your tenants right happy. Home. Select the gadget factory and place it on your new All right, estate. Alright, here we go. We've got a gadget factory coming. Um, show utilities. Gadget. Oh, I'd like it to be the same, really. It'd have been better if it was in there. One of your work teams on site to finish this building off. Right, eh? Right. As you can see, you're getting the gist of the game if you haven't played it before. If you have, I don't need to say anything about this game because I know how good this game was. Even when it first came out in the 90s, it was absolutely brilliant. They're building that. So we've got the cement team, we've got the cement factory here, we've got the wood bit here. Obviously this is my competitor, they've started building houses now. Little houses. They've started building their houses so I will have to start some more. has been completed, allowing houses and gardens to start being improved. Cool. Gadgets for houses, such as computers, to create the next level of tenants will soon be available. The gadget factory can be accessed by either right clicking on. on its footprint or by clicking on the gadget factory icon on the left. Welcome to your gadget factory. Here you can build many items to enhance the inside and outside of your houses. Planting trees in your tenants' gardens will give them the shade they need to dodge the sun's rays. It'll stop them complaining too. Select the trees icon and then click again to add it to the queue. The figure in the bottom right corner shows the number waiting to be produced. You will need to call a work team into the building to complete the production. It's a shame money doesn't grow on trees that quickly. Now that they're in stock, you can choose where to place them by clicking the deliver icon. Please put two trees in a single garden. Use the left mouse button to place a marker 
and a delivery man will bring it to the site shortly. Just make sure it is in a legal position in the garden. Once you have placed all the objects that you wish to, press the right mouse button to exit the mode. Oh yes, I can smell their green fingers from here. Now return to the gadget factory to see what else will improve your tenants' lives. More gadgets are now available. Oh, the only Koki 2000 is a state-of-the-art personal computer which will enrich child education. Build lots of computers so we can start producing better tenants. Now, let's get one of these delivered to your posh Soweto hut. Select the deliver button to have your delivery guy personally transport it. Target the Soweto hut and press the right mouse button uh, to right. begin the delivery. Comes. Plug and play. Let's go inside and check the gadget screen to see if they've turned it on correctly. Oh, my. You can really see the 256 colours in all their glory. Gadgets can also be collected by the tenant himself to avoid waiting for a delivery. Now, cool. with the computer installed, this property is able to produce next level tenants. Please select the level two tenant birth type. This level two tenant will be the perfect choice for our state-of-the-art bungalow. So let's go build one whilst we wait for the whippersnapper to mature. Oh, I've always wanted a bungalow. Get your work team on site to build it. Hey, right on. Come on, mate. God, I love this game. Sank about this game. Right, let's go and have a quick look at the red area. Yeah, look, they've started building now. Production has halted. An enemy spy has wandered on site. We need to get rid of him as soon as possible. Your workers can attack any enemy character. Select one of your workers and then hover over the enemy and press the right mouse button to attack. Alternatively, you can select multiple characters by lassoing yep. them. Where is he now? I'll try and find him first. Green, green. Doing. Your workers can attack any enemy character. Select oh, one of your workers and then hover over the enemy and press the right mouse button to attack. Alternatively, you can select multiple characters by lassoing them. Where is he then? Yeah. Is that him? Got green hat on. Where is he? Oh, damn. Boy. Didn't see him there. Boy. Good job. Now to just finish off the building work. He obviously came from over here. Oh, they've done their cement factory now. What's 
they bought that estate as well, so they're getting quite popular. Now, time to get an appropriate tenant for this little box. Select either of the level two tenants, punks or students. The choice is yours. Hey. These guys will happily pay their rent every month, but there are quicker ways of making money. Let's step outside for a chat. Things in Constructor aren't always above board. A good way of making money is to steal someone else's hard-earned assets and then sell them quickly before someone comes knocking. That's fair news. To take over a property, first select one of your foremen. Oh, be now, your take your foreman Hello? and his team to the beacon outside the gate of the enemy house by Hi, hovering home. over the beacon and pressing the right mouse button. Oh, done that there. He's going to come out of here and then we're going to nick their money. That's the way we do it. Target your foreman at this house by hovering over the footprint and pressing the right mouse hey, button. You. Once he has demolished the entire fence, the house will be yours. Right. I walked you into that one, I'm afraid. It seems it's not always as easy. Hopefully they can put him back together. Yeah, um, basically he got killed. I and told you what to do. I walked you into that one, I'm afraid. It seems it's not always that easy. Hopefully they can put it back together. Luckily these foremen are a bit like cats, although without nine lives. This is a gangster. We're obviously What's going to need some underhand tactics of our own. Time to introduce you to the undesirables. We now have access to the hippie commune, home of the halfwit. Let's get one of those knocked up quick smart. Yes, These undesirable abodes take quite a lot of resources, so make sure you have enough and get your work team on site. Who are a I know. Hello. Hello. Right on. Hey. Right on. There they go. inside the hippie commune by clicking on the base of the building. You seem to have got the lazy bugger out of bed. You can choose what to use him for by clicking on the pictures. Let's have us a street party. You can guide this dimwit by pointing where you want him to walk to and pressing the right mouse button. Let's start a party outside the enemy house to distract his people. When the cursor goes green, you can select the hippie's target position. He's a bit slow, I'm afraid, but he'll get there in the end <coughs> because undesirables are not allowed on the tube network. You can track his progress by selecting the hippie and clicking on the follow icon. Camera will follow him all the way. Oh, there he is, anyway. Here he comes. Got more on that gangster that's there. Hey, 
Watch him go. That should keep people distracted. So let's try taking that house over again using your foreman. Please select the foreman and target the house using the right mouse button. Come on. Oh yes, come on. Oh yeah, come on. Let's dance. You can speed up the process by using multiple foremen. And you can use your workers to ward off anyone who tries to stop you. successfully took over that house you should sell it now to make a quick call. go inside the house and click on the sell house cycle right so i think i've spent enough of my precious time trying to teach you the ropes you my son need to step up to the mark and take over day-to-day -day running now get a wriggle on and get some of the available houses built. I'll be in touch. Don't call me, I'll call you. <laughs> Kids these days. Hello? Alright, so as you can see, let's get them out of there because that's, that's sold, that's my money out of that. My, let's get them back where we should be. Where we're over here. So yeah, that's, that's, that's basically the game. Oh. HQ was blown to smithereens. Sweet dreams, sucker. So, that is the tutorial. Um, I thought I would obviously take you through it. So that's the end of that. Obviously now, you can actually play the game at your own way you want to play it. Um, I shall probably do that in the next video itself. Build, but build, build. Until it stands now, thank you for joining me. This has been another episode of doodlebug and this is constructor and it is coming soon i'll see you later mobs see you later i'm watching you